Hi everybody, Froggy here. Uh, today we are going to show you how to put a radiator in a C5 Z06 Corvette. And I actually got a little bit ahead and then I remembered that I wanted to video this. So let me step you through what I've done so far, which is really very little. This is the air bridge, the MAF. Uh, give you a little picture of the MAF. Those little elements in there help. There's sensors and they help the engine uh, computer measure the fuel air mixture. They measure how much air is coming in. Uh, but anyway, taking this off, there's one, one uh, screw there and another one. That loose one, la loose one right there, and then you just pull it off these two little grommets that hold it down onto the shroud. Next thing I'm going to take off is the shroud. That's this, the radiator shroud. Okay. Okay, we've got the shroud off. Just uh, four ten millimeter, I think. Yeah, four 10 millimeter uh, bolts, and that's all. Hi, Froggy here. Um, I got a little ahead of myself here on this radiator job, so I want to get you guys caught up on what we've done so far. I've uh, got the car jacked up on both sides, and mainly just to be able to drain the coolant. Uh, I'm going to show you where the coolant drain is. It's right there and there's a little plastic plug that you give it a half turn to open it up and a half turn to close it. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how you drain the coolant. Once you've got most of that done, we've, we've been leaving the car up in the air. Okay. We're on top now. We've got the AC condenser. I got my hand on it there. The AC condenser, the radiator, and the fans. There's two fans in this fan shroud. Now what have I done before I got to this point? The air bridge came off. I showed you that yesterday when I uh, was uh, pre previewing the job. So the air bridge came off and then the air cleaner just has two little let me see if I can point to you point right there it's got two little um, nubs and the air cleaner box the air box has some sockets that just snap in there so it just comes right out those two things pops right out sitting over on the bench there so we get the air cleaner off get the air bridge off. There's four hoses you have to disconnect. Two little ones here, one goes to the throttle body and the other one goes to the tank. This is the uh, pressurized coolant tank. So that, And then the two big hoses. This one I took off here at the, the water pump area and the other one is down below right there. I'm wiggling it that one comes off the radiator. They all use these little, uh, not the regular screw type uh, hose clamps, but the spring hose clamps. So you get those done. And what we did was we lifted the AC condenser. It's just got, it's got tabs like this, like my finger is, is, is in the shape of the tab. And it just lifts up and push forward to get that. And the point we're at right now is to get the fans off, which also have four tabs, and we've got to lift up and go backwards with that. Uh, but it's hung up on something, so I'll uh, I'll catch you up after I uh, figure out how to get this uh, this out. Once that AC condenser's off the front and the fans are off the back, this radiator should come right out. Okay, we'll give it a shot. We're going to be pretty darn good. Okay, we're back here. We got the radiator out. Um, 
And I want to advise you that, that um, I've got a helper here, so we were working from the top and from the bottom. If you're trying to do this yourself, you, the radiator gets hung up in a few different places, mainly not on the driver's side so much, but on the passenger side, it gets hung up on this wire bundle that I've got my finger on now, and it gets hung up on the radiator hose, the lower radiator hose that you previously disconnected. So there's a couple of places that it, it gets hung up on. Uh, now while, while you've got it out, before you want to put your, your replacement radiator, radiator in, you want to clean the AC um, uh, condenser. And I'm going to do that. I uh, think I'll get a vacuum or a brush or something and try and clean that up a bit so that you've got a good airflow through that radiator into your real radiator. Uh, other than that, here's a picture of the radiator we got out. It's uh, It looks pretty good. The other side is going to show some... Uh, some Debris. Yeah, let me let me turn it around so that uh, the sun's not blocking it. There. That's uh, that's what most of your radiators look look like that you're driving around now with. It's got uh, plugged up with a lot of junk, and once that's cleaned, it'll probably cool pretty good. But I just felt like putting another one in because this has got uh, 45,000 miles on it, and uh, here's the. Uh, Oh, okay. This this is a little rubber bumper that this is what the radiator sits on, and it sits down on a, some heavy-duty steel parts in the car. I'll show you. And this is the drain. The drain is uh, just a half twist open, half twist closed. You can see how it works now. And uh, be careful. Easy to break those, but they do have them at Pep Boy Craig, and they're a pretty common part. Okay, this is the front of the AC condenser, and you can see how much junk gets on that. That's, that's the first thing that the leaves and grass and everything hit before it gets the radiator. So that needs to be cleaned pretty good, too. And you can see there's a couple of spots that are flattened over. And the way you get to that is you've got to remove this piece of uh, plastic uh, which is uh, controls the the flow of the air up into um, into the radiator area it's just one two three four five six seven seven screws and then a sensor a wire bundle uh, connection there and you got to be careful over here this is your ambient temperature sensor so that has to be released it's got a little uh, plastic clip also so make sure you don't rip that out of there or you'll be replacing it okay here's the condenser I cleaned it up as best I can a lot of that let's see if I can do close up on this okay I, I changed it to close up focus a lot of that is just really embedded tiny rocks and grit and I don't really think that even if I've used a pressure washer, then I'm going to bend over a bunch of these fins. I don't think there's too much more I can do to clean that up. The AC blows cold, so I'm, I'm really not having a problem with uh, with AC. And down towards the bottom, it's much cleaner. It's just everything travels up towards the top, uh, which is you know where your air bridges and your you know your uh, your intake area, and uh, that's where most of it ends up uh, finding a home and jamming itself in between these fins. So that's as good as it gets. Okay, we're back. Uh, my uh, my helper is gone, and uh, let me get you up to speed on this. We started at 8:30. So two guys, four and a half hours, and we had to test fit the radiator, actually the radiator and the shroud, 
several times, so it came in and out several times. I am going to uh, go on the record as saying this is not a one-man job. I don't think I could have done, a, done this at all by myself. So you're going to need a, an extra pair of uh, arms to help you out with this. Now where we are now, the, it's a good fit, the radiator's in, uh, we're just going to button up and I'm going to go through the button up because it's the reverse of how it came apart and I might have skipped a couple of parts on where it came apart. I want you to have a lot of detail on this. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to put back in is that shroud over there that goes under the front. I'm going to recommend that when you do a radiator you jack it up so that you can work both the top side and the bottom side. Just jack it up a little bit and leave it there. That seemed to work the best uh, for us. Uh, so uh, that uh, plastic shroud, that's going in right now. The cover slides up like that. This lip here is where the radiator top support is going to connect. They, they latch together. Um, and now I'm just going to go and uh, put the screws in. That's how that goes. Now the, the air cleaner is going to sit, the air box is going to sit right on top where I'm waving my flashlight there when we get to it. On the passenger side, there's one wire loom uh, positioner, uh, fastener right there, it just pokes through a hole. It's one of those plastic clips, a wire loom clip that pokes through a hole in the plastic shroud. And down, way down there, is your external air temperature sensor. And that also has a plastic clip and it fastens down at the bottom of the shroud. Okay, let's get caught up. I've got two small hoses connected back, one throttle body, one goes to the coolant reservoir. That upper hose right there. I haven't got the clamp on there yet, but that one's going to go back. And then the bottom hose way down in there. You can see it from the other side. The bottom Okay, bottom hose is right there. Uh, there. Let me put a light on it. There. There's the bottom hose. Now this type of a clamp, it's not a screw hose clamp, it's a spring steel hose clamp. There's a pliers that is uh, good for these. You may want to get yourself a pair of these pliers. You squeeze down on the clamp and then this little ratchet piece locks it so that then you can move the clamp around where you want it then release like that. Pretty cool. Uh, next item is the air box. Remember the air box has a couple of little fasteners that go down and they fasten to the front of the car there. See it? They're going to fasten on there. I usually put a little lube on there, a little silicone or something. There's the other one. Uh, so that this rubber rubber grommet will pop onto there a little bit easier. You have to just push from from the underside of the air box to get it to fasten. Air box is in. Remember there's a hose right there. I'm shining my light on it. There's a hose that goes to the air box. Right there, just on the other side. There. That hose has to be connected. This is the top radiator support. It actually locks the radiator down into the two lower supports, um, and that's that's what holds it in place. And make sure you get that hose. That one over there, make sure you got that clamp on before you start buttoning up the top radiator support. There you go, the shroud, not the shroud, sorry, erase that. 
the upper radiator support is on. When you put it on, make sure there's, there's a couple of little tabs on the radiator itself that fit into this area here, which has a rubber piece on the other side of it. Make sure those go in right. Uh, that'll lock in your radiator more securely, and that's the right way to do it. All we have left to do is the air bridge. I'm doing that now. Air bridge back on. Picked up all my tools. Don't forget to put some coolant back in there. Um, going to fill it up with coolant, run the car. What you want to do to burp it, they call burping the car. It's good to have it up on an angle. A lot of my coolant has stayed in the engine block because of the angle I put it on. And um, what you do is you, you fill it up. You have to get it hot so the thermostat opens up and the thermostat opens up and lets, air, uh, lets coolant circulate to the radiator. Um, and then you're going to start pushing air into the engine block. So once it gets hot, um, you're going to uh, keep this full, the overflow tank, it's pressurized, keep it full. Be very careful, because if you open this up under pressure, you could get a bath. You won't like it. Um, you have to do this two or three times, drive it a little bit maybe, watch your temperature gauge. Make sure you don't overheat it. This is important. Well, we didn't get very far with uh, filling up the fluid because I got a leak on that lower radiator hose, which honestly I'm not surprised because it's got over 45,000 miles on it. It's too little on the soft side and uh, I probably should have bought a couple of hoses, at least the two big hoses, uh, before I even started the job. So I'm going to button it up, and uh, that's the end of this video. Um, maybe I'll do a new video about installing a lower radiator hose, but um, I think the radiator went in okay. I'm just got to get a hose on the bottom there. I'm going to put one on the top too, and then uh, that's it. If you found any of this at all uh, helpful give me a thumbs up if you want to see more uh, subscribe to my channel froggy out